सो हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ पीरियर व्रत एंड वेलकम टू द हेल्पफुल टेक्निक्स अगेन सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दिस इन्फोसिस सूडो कोड क्वेश्चन एंड एंसर्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू सो यू ऑल नो दैट इन्फोसिस ऑफ कैंपस ड्राइव इज हैपनिंग राइट नाउ सो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सूडो कोड क्वेश्चन दैट इज इन आस्ट ऑन ट्वेंटीथ फेब्रुवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू दैट मीन्स रिसेंट रिसेंटली आस्ट सूडो कोड एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन इन इन्फोसिस ड्राइव और द रिटर्न टेस्ट Uh, so in this video we'll be discussing about the uh, totally 10 questions or the 10 mcq pseudo code questions in this video uh, so these are the sure shot questions because this kind of questions are uh, uh, you will be getting in the next or the upcoming uh, infosys drives or the written test so before discussing further if you are new to our youtube channel then please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be able to get the timely updates regarding latest of campus like this and uh, you can check out our other playlist playlist our uh, playlist videos as well like re regarding infosys aptitude questions and answers and the reasoning mcq questions and the uh, uh, verbal ability questions and all so various kind of questions we are uh, collecting and gathering uh, that is been asked in various off campus drives especially infosys tcs cognizant and, and ibm capgemini wipro etc Uh, so there are many playlists are there and in this uh, video in the description of this video i'll be putting the uh, playlist of infosys uh, of campus drive uh, especially so that you'll be able to know about the other uh, other section videos uh, or the other section questions as well so now let's discuss uh, so before uh, discussing about the uh, various questions that is been asked in this infosys of campus i just wanted to tell you about the uh, Uh, the pattern of this pseudo code questions so basically there will be five pseudo code questions you will be getting and uh, the time will be they will be providing you uh, 10 minutes so it is not uh, enough literally i am telling you it is not enough because if you see there are complex questions not uh, the difficulty level is hard but actually it is not uh, hard because uh, if you see there are many calculations you need to do so that's why it is a little bit more time taking and you cannot complete whole uh, five questions uh, within 10 uh, 10 minutes of time. time so uh, please focus on solving at least 2 to 3 questions or the 3 to 2 to 3 pseudo code questions so coming to the pattern so uh, minimum of 1 to 2 questions will be based on the data structure that means the linked list tag and heap etc and uh, minimum of 1 to 2 1 uh, to 2 maximum of 2 uh, but minimum is 1 and 2 uh, to 3 uh, questions will be from the uh, loops kind of for loop on and the while and the if condition and various operators like increment uh, decrement and the uh, or and uh, end of op, uh, conditional operators and all this kind of questions will be there and uh, hardly one question will be from the uh, that uh, multi, uh, mul not multi threading the exception handling part hardly one question will be there but uh, most of the time people are getting only for the this kind of questions like for loop inside the for loop you need to do certain operations and just produce the output so uh, you need to focus on uh, i know many of the non it candidates are attending this off campus as well so they are not comfortable in solving the data structure questions so not in big deal you can focus on this for loop kind of questions so maximum of our questions are based on this for loop uh, for loop and the while condition and all you can practice all these questions and definitely you will be able to solve minimum of 2 to 3 questions so if you are solving 2 to 3 question questions out of 5 questions it's absolutely fine uh, you are doing great because time is very much less and you will not be able to complete the 100% questions in the pseudo code part uh, i am 100% sure so uh, before moving forward or discussing about the solution or questions one by one uh, i have a friendly uh, like advice to you all so you can copy uh, paste these codes or you can type by yourself these codes in the any compiler or the java compiler like uh, or java or python any compiler you, you are friendly or you are familiar with so that the proper alignment will be there and you will be able to understand how, where it is ending and where, uh, where it is being started like for loop if you see i i have tried to uh, keep the like uh, the element alignment properly in proper manner or format but in the interview will not be able to get the alignment in the proper format so i would suggest all of you to please type uh, this uh, questions in the compiler or in any uh, id like eclipse and all so that you will be able to uh, like understand about the indentation because it is one of the most important thing because here if you see i have used uh, or i have done the proper indentation but in the question i have seen that 
द प्रिंट स्टेटमेंट इज समेर आफ्टर दिस कली ब्रासेस और एनी लाइक ब्रैकेट सो यू नॉट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड लाइक इट इज विद इन द फॉलूप और आउटसाइड द फॉलूप और इफ यू इफ इट इज आउटसाइड एनी लाइक एनी मेथड और इन साइड दिस मेथड सो इट इज वेरी मच कन्फ्यूजिंग एंड विद इन स्मॉल पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यू नॉट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड सो आई सजेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू प्रैक्टिस दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन एज मच एज पॉसिबल so now let's discuss about the questions one by one so the first question is find the output below the pseudo code so it's a pseudo code so if you see like syntactically it may not be correct but yeah logically it's totally absolutely correct or fine so this is the class name i have been using any class name you can use in its similar kind of uh, the java statement you can see but it is uh, you can consider it as a python or any other programming it, it is not a big deal you just to take care of the logic behind this uh, or in, in this pseudo code so stack they are using so in the stack we all know like lifo is been followed that means last in first out in the stack so string s i am passing hello world and for loop i am uh, uh, i am using here integer i equal to 0 and uh, i less than equal to s dot length that means uh, from 0 to uh, uh, till the end of this string i am using that means uh, h e l l o uh, till d it will be printing uh, or uh, it will be iteration will be happening if s dot character at i is not empty then st dot push to this s dot character head that means st dot push so what is st st here is the stack so in this stack i am pushing so if you uh, like uh, suppose this is the stack i am using so uh, i have very bad handwriting so please uh, like uh, uh, so please take care of this one so hello uh, suppose i am using hello so like this uh, at the end if you see at the end uh, d will be there so uh, st dot push then uh, while st dot empty equal to false that means if the uh, stack is not empty or it is if it it contains uh, something then print st dot pop so as you all know that in the stack follows the uh, uh, last in first out that means at the end uh, d will be entered so first it will remove d and it will print because we are using print statement here print any it may, may be any uh, syntactically it may be system dot out or print ln in in python it is print uh, i hope the python guys must be knowing about this print statement but this this is our main concern or main focus st dot pop so it will be printing st dot pop so at the end it will be printing d like this uh, in the reverse order it will be printing because we are using stack here so if you are using stack then uh, it will like this if you go the output will be uh, world then uh, hello so this one will be the correct output so you can check the output by uh, writing the code and in the compiler and running the code so i hope you all are able to understand so quickly i am going through all these things because i have to uh, discuss about the other questions as well Uh, so uh, these are the these are the options i have already uh, like uh, i have added here so that it will be clear whether your output is correct or not so find the output of the below pseudo code so this is the for loop it has been used like two different for loops are there so if you see like this questions has been asked if you see definitely i i am 100% sure that you will not be able to like solve this question within uh, like 2 uh, minutes of time because it is not possible for us so please uh, focus on solving at least 2 to 3 questions uh, in in 10 minutes like uh, Three minutes for each and every question, and try to solve the, all the three questions correctly. Then definitely you will uh, be able to crack this uh, part or pseudo code part. Uh, you need just you need the enough practice. So this is the for loop. I hope like it a little bit of calculation is needed. So this is the inner for loop and this is the outer for loop. Nothing else like nothing fancy here or nothing uh, like uh, no difficulty is here. Only the little bit of calculation is needed. so this is the uh, output actually we don't didn't had any like uh, have uh, output here so that's why i didn't put you can uh, like just compile this whole code and copy paste you can do in the java compiler because i have used main so you can copy and paste and can check the output so now move into the third question said the same thing for loop and uh, uh, you need to print find the output yeah one more thing i'll be putting this uh, like document in the pdf format in the comment section below it's a kind of drive link i'll be passing like google drive link i'll be uh, i'll be putting here you can just uh, i'll be providing the access to everyone so that everyone will be able to see and you can download from the google drive the document will be there you just uh, simply download and copy paste this and run these things in the compiler just syntactically you have to correct it 
then find the output for the below pseudo code so this is the again the same thing for loop and uh, 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 n equal to 5 that means 5 times iteration will be happening then you need to find the output so now let this is the easy question just little bit calculation is needed then again the same thing like integer while in inside this for loop else if condition nothing fancy here just the simple calculation you need to do but you need to be fast then find the output of the below pseudo code integer uh, integer n string s equal to infosys uh, sum so uh, if you see here if character at so that means it is checking for the uh, uh, vowels that means a i o u uh, for the small letter or this, this, these are the or operators uh, in the in java and if you are using python then you have to type or uh, means uh, in the simple one o, o r so like this you have to type because if you are using python compiler otherwise if you are using java compiler it's fine syntactically it's fine then uh, it's capital letter a e i o, o sorry i forgot to add i so please guys add i here a e i o u so if it is uh, in the vowel form then sum equal to sum plus 1 that means previously sum was 0 if it is a vowel any uh, alphabet is if any alphabet is a vowel then it will uh, simply sum equal to sum plus 1 else sum equal to sum plus 0 so if you see uh, um, uh, here uh, sum plus 0 that means sum will not be increased or incremented if it is not a vowel so uh, here infosys uh, uh, i is the uh, vowel and o is the vowel so totally it will be 2 so uh, 2 is the answer fourth option is uh, correct so again the same thing like you have to uh, pa go through the for loop and uh, you have to print the output find the output for the, for the below pseudo code then eighth question uh, double max list so it will just be printing the uh, the maximum index of the maximum element in this array this is a code to find the maximum element in the array so this is a java kind of code you can copy paste and check the output of your solution mm, so one will be the output find the output of the below pseudo code again the same thing try catch block is there so make most of the questions will not be like um, a few questions or the like a few very few probability that will be fitting, getting will be getting the uh, exception handling questions so you can ignore this question as well uh, like uh, not a big deal but it's a easy question if you know the exception handling part easily you can uh, solve return equal to 7 by 2 so output will be 3 because we are doing the uh, simple division find the output of the below pseudo code so abstract class as you know like uh, if you are uh, 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 that extending the abstract class you need to provide the body for the uh, methods in the abstract class so uh, here uh, class 2 c2 extends c1 and public c2 print c2 and uh, it is just extending to the like c1 is extending to c2 is extending to c1 and c3 is extending to the c2 and inside this we are printing 1 2 3 so it will be printing 1 2 3 only so this is the correct answer so these are the 10 questions i have discussed so uh, so you can ignore the last two questions these are the like related to uh, uh, that uh, 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 exemption handling and the uh, abstraction and the inheritance part so you can uh, skip these two last two questions because rarely they ask this kind of questions but most of the time you'll be getting this kind of questions only of the for loop and the uh, doing the multiple iteration like uh, uh, increment and the decrement operator so this kind of questions will be getting and this question was asked in the infosys and i have seen that actually i gathered a minimum 40 questions like 40 pseudo code questions from the various uh, candidates those who attended uh, on to, uh, 20th february 2022 but the question pattern pattern is same literally it is same like this kind of questions will be getting nothing else inside the for loop just do the multiple iterations all the multiple calculations nothing else but it is a time taking thing actually literally it's a time consuming thing not be able to solve within like two minutes or one and a half minutes i don't know why they have added like so many calculations in sunday for loop within this uh, small period of time but yeah let's see uh, we need, you need to give your best so if you have any doubt regarding these kind of like questions or if you are stuck in, at a certain point just highlight the question number in the comment section below and your doubts so we'll uh, definitely uh, reply back to your comments by solving the questions or solving your concerns and the link of this document is there in the description of this video go through the link and uh, try to uh, solve these questions as soon as possible so thank you for watching guys and all the best with your job search